Something is amiss in our comprehension of the universe. Cosmology is advancing toward a critical juncture, grappling with perhaps one of its most fundamental issues. How quickly is the universe expanding? For over a decade, two different measurement techniques have been at odds. Observations of the present-day universe often show that the rate of expansion, known as the Hubble constant, is about 9% faster than what is predicted based on data from the early universe. Researchers had hoped that the James Webb Space Telescope, the most advanced telescope ever made, would help resolve this issue convincingly. However, consensus has yet to emerge, as the telescope's remarkable, novel observations have further solidified the disparity, posing a potential challenge to the established cosmological model. Now, the need for new physics to either modify or entirely replace the 40-year-old theory is under serious debate. An exhilarating and intriguing possibility is that we are overlooking some aspect of the universe. Join us as we dive into how the new ultra-deep images from James Webb have recently confirmed that there is something fundamentally flawed in our understanding of the cosmos. Our universe began with a bang, the Big Bang. Energy, mass, and space emerged in an instant. The young universe formed a seething plasma, a mixture of matter and antimatter particles that annihilated each other upon collision. Left unchecked, the matter and antimatter in this plasma would have destroyed each other completely. However, scientists believe an unknown asymmetry allowed more matter to form than antimatter, thus saving the universe from immediate destruction. Gravity then compressed this plasma, heating it so intensely that sound waves, known as baryon acoustic oscillations, traveled through the medium at roughly half the speed of light. Simultaneously, the dense energy content of the early universe expanded spacetime, pushing some matter safely away from the heat. As the universe expanded like a balloon, the standard model suggests that ordinary matter, which interacts with light, began to cluster around invisible dark matter, forming the first galaxies connected by a vast cosmic web. As the universe's objects spread out, its energy density, and consequently its rate of expansion, declined. Yet, about five billion years ago, galaxies began receding faster, driven by the mysterious force known as dark energy. The clearest and most widely accepted explanation for dark energy is that it functions as a cosmological constant, a uniform force that remains constant across spacetime, woven into the fabric of expanding spacetime itself. Named lambda, lambda, by Einstein in his theory of general relativity, dark energy's density remains constant as the universe grows, while the density of ordinary matter decreases. Eventually, dark energy became the dominant contributor to the universe's expansion. When combined with normal matter and dark matter, the energy densities of these components set an upper limit on the universe's expansion speed. These elements form the core of the lambda cold dark matter, lambda CDM model, which describes the evolution of the universe and predicts its ultimate fate, an eventual heat death known as the Big Freeze. Many of this model's predictions have been remarkably accurate. However, this is where the trouble begins. Despite extensive research, cosmologists remain ignorant about the true nature of dark matter and dark energy. As Afshar Love, an astronomy professor at University College London involved in dark energy universe studies, states, most scientists agree that the universe's current makeup is about 5% normal atomic matter, 25% cold dark matter, and 70% dark energy. The embarrassing truth is that we still don't understand the latter two. A far greater challenge to the Lambda CDM model, however, is the growing issue known as the Hubble tension. Depending on the method used, measurements of the universe's expansion rate yield conflicting results. The discrepancy is so significant that it has become a central problem in cosmology. Measurements derived from observing the early universe suggest it is expanding much faster than predicted by the Lambda CDM model. These methods have undergone extensive testing and validation through various observations. As Nobel Prize-winning astrophysicist Adam Rees, who led the team responsible for the latest James Webb measurements, put it, measuring the universe's expansion involves more than just using a radar gun. One primary method for estimating this rate examines the cosmic microwave background, CMB, the universe's first light emitted about 380,000 years after the Big Bang. This imprint is visible across the entire sky and has been mapped to infer the Hubble constant with less than 1% uncertainty. Between 2009 and 2013, the European Space Agency's Planck satellite produced a detailed map of the CMB. In this cosmic snapshot, the universe appears nearly uniform, but slight temperature variations indicate regions where baryon acoustic oscillations left their mark. This soap bubble structure expanded into the cosmic web, 
a network of filaments connecting galaxies at their intersections. By studying these waves, cosmologists calculated the Hubble constant to be approximately 67 kilometers per second per megaparsec, MPC. To summarize this number, if a galaxy is 1 MPC away, it will recede at a speed of 67 kilometers per second. At a distance of 20 MPC, this recession increases to 1,340 kilometers per second, continuing to grow with distance. If a galaxy is farther than 4,175 MPC, it will recede faster than the speed of light. Another method for measuring this expansion involves using standard candles, pulsating stars known as Cepheids. These stars' outer layers expand and contract as they absorb and release radiation, causing them to pulsate predictably. This behavior, discovered in 1912 by astronomer Henrietta Swan Leavitt, allows cosmologists to determine the absolute brightness of these stars, which can then be used to measure their distance. This Cepheid-based technique, known as the Cosmic Distance Ladder, was a groundbreaking discovery that enabled astronomers to measure vast distances. The first rung of the ladder is built by measuring nearby Cepheids and cross-referencing their distances. From this, the distances of more distant stars can be determined by observing how much their light has been stretched or redshifted as the universe expands. By comparing this data, astronomers can calculate the Hubble constant. In 2019, Reese and his team used this method by pointing the Hubble Space Telescope at the Milky Way's closest neighbor, the Large Magellanic Cloud. Their results were striking, showing a much higher expansion rate of 74 km per second per megaparsec compared to the Planck measurements. However, the Planck results were constrained by the limited accuracy in crowded regions of space, where distant Cepheids blended with nearby stars. Some skeptical astronomers argued that this discrepancy could be due to measurement errors. When the James Webb Space Telescope launched in December 2021, it was expected to resolve, or perhaps confirm, this difference with its 6.5-meter-wide mirror, more than six times the size of Hubble's, and its superior infrared capabilities. James Webb could detect fainter objects and observe a wider range of frequencies. In a study examining Cepheids in the galaxy NGC 4258, Reese and his group found results almost identical to their previous work, 73 km per second per megaparsec. Other measurements, including those by Wendy Friedman using the Hubble Space Telescope and gravitational lensing techniques, returned similar results of 69.6 and 66.6 km per second per megaparsec, respectively. These differing conclusions have sparked debate. Some argue it's a matter of observational errors, while others propose new physics, or a combination of both. Rees acknowledges that much of the data points toward the need for new physics. The leading theory is that dark energy's behavior may have changed over time. If dark energy was stronger in the past and gradually weakened, it would make the universe appear smaller in its early stages, resulting in a faster expansion rate today. Other possibilities include the existence of two types of dark energy or dark matter interacting with light. However, these theories present complexities that many cosmologists are hesitant to accept without further proof. James Webb's discoveries are not just challenging our understanding of dark energy and dark matter, they are reshaping our ideas about the universe's evolution. By looking further back in time than ever before, the telescope has revealed galaxies that were far larger and more advanced than the standard model had predicted, forming just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. Early galaxies, which should have consisted of young, hot stars, were found to contain heavy elements and even massive black holes at their centers, features that challenge the conventional model of galaxy formation. These findings have sparked heated discussions within cosmology, suggesting that the processes governing galaxy formation may have been faster and more efficient than previously thought. In addition to these key mysteries, James Webb's discoveries have also expanded the puzzle surrounding dark matter and dark energy. Despite being the dominant components of the universe, both remain poorly understood. While dark matter interacts gravitationally, its precise nature remains unclear, prompting continued exploration into its detection. Similarly, dark energy drives the accelerated expansion of the universe, yet variations such as the Hubble tension raise the possibility that dark energy's properties are not uniform across spacetime. Alternative hypotheses suggest dynamic forms of dark energy that could evolve over time, affecting the expansion rate differently at various stages of the universe's history. To resolve these tensions, further observations and deeper insights are required. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues to uncover new revelations, it is clear that the next chapter in our understanding of the cosmos is unfolding. 
Whether these discoveries lead to the need for new physical theories or refine our current models, the answers will undoubtedly shape the future of cosmology for generations to come. As we venture further into the discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope, it's clear that the data collected thus far is prompting cosmologists to reevaluate some of their most fundamental assumptions. The JWST's ability to peer further into the early universe, to capture images and data from the very first galaxies, stars, and black holes, offers unprecedented insights into the infancy of the cosmos. One of the telescope's most exciting capabilities is its ability to study the early universe by looking at objects that formed within just a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. These galaxies appear much larger and more mature than the existing models predict. In some cases, they show evidence of having already formed massive stars and even supermassive black holes, which would have been impossible under the previous timeline suggested by the standard model of cosmology. These observations are prompting a reconsideration of the processes that led to galaxy formation in the very early universe. One possibility that researchers are exploring is that galaxy formation was not as gradual and chaotic as once believed. Instead, it may have been more rapid, with galaxies assembling in a relatively short time frame due to efficient mechanisms in the early universe. This could involve complex feedback mechanisms between dark matter, dark energy, and baryonic matter, driving the process of galaxy assembly in ways we are only beginning to understand. The detection of early black holes, particularly supermassive ones, has also raised questions. According to traditional theories, supermassive black holes couldn't have formed so quickly after the Big Bang due to the time needed for their growth. Yet, the JWST's ability to observe distant galaxies reveals the presence of massive black holes in regions where they shouldn't be, based on conventional understanding. This has led to new theories about how these early supermassive black holes might have formed. Some hypotheses suggest that these black holes could have originated from the direct collapse of massive gas clouds, bypassing the typical star formation stages. Others propose that they might be the result of the merging of smaller black holes in the high-density environments of the early universe. Along with these intriguing discoveries, the JWST's observations also point to the need for a new understanding of dark matter. While the existence of dark matter has been well established by its gravitational effects on visible matter, the exact nature of dark matter remains a profound mystery. The telescope's infrared capabilities allow it to detect more subtle interactions between ordinary matter and dark matter, and its findings may help unravel this mystery. Recent JWST data has provided further evidence that dark matter plays a more dynamic role in galaxy formation than previously thought, possibly interacting with regular matter in ways that were not considered in earlier models. In addition to dark matter, dark energy remains an area of intense study. The accelerated expansion of the universe, driven by dark energy, has been one of the most significant discoveries in modern cosmology. However, despite its importance, much of its nature remains speculative. The tensions caused by the Hubble constant measurements and the conflicting results from different observational methods suggest that there may be more to dark energy than previously understood. The concept of dark energy as a constant force, as described in the Lambda CDM model, may need to be revised. It's possible that dark energy's properties change over time, or that it may be a more complex phenomenon than a simple cosmological constant. As we continue to analyze the vast wealth of data from the JWST, it's clear that our models of the universe, while successful in many ways, may be in need of significant revision. The presence of early supermassive black holes, the surprising maturity of early galaxies, the potential for new interactions between dark matter and regular matter, and the unresolved mystery of dark energy all point to the fact that our understanding of the cosmos is far from complete. The next steps in cosmology will likely involve refining or even replacing the current theoretical frameworks that govern our understanding of the universe's origins and evolution. New observational techniques, such as those provided by the James Webb Space Telescope, will play a crucial role in this process. They will help us probe deeper into the universe's past, uncovering more about the early stages of galaxy formation, the role of dark energy, and the elusive nature of dark matter. Ultimately, the discoveries made by the JWST will likely shape the course of cosmology for decades to come. As scientists continue to analyze its data, the next generation of cosmological theories will begin to take shape. Whether these theories involve modifications to existing models or the development of entirely new frameworks, they will provide us with an even more profound understanding of our universe.